Well, it's that time of the year where we uh, piss off our husbands and wives and buy them the wrong shit. So I was going to go over a list of things that I thought would be a good idea for, for Christmas ideas, Christmas gifts ideas. I am very difficult to shop for, so some of the things I grabbed were things that maybe I would like that someone might not think about, and these are good for men and women. Um, I'll just start kind of going from your left to my right. Um, this is a Kafaru Wubi. Uh, this works really well for in the car. Uh, we offer a few different types, but in the car, like a survival type blanket, if the car breaks down, at the football game, watching TV, Netflix, and chilling. Uh, it's really good for that. Um, I'm gonna drop this. This is one of my peak skaters that the other one just fell on the ground, but this is sort of an upgraded Outdoor Research Crocodile Gator. I just used these this year. Um, really like them. Again, it's, it's, it's an Outdoor Research Crocodile ga but Gator with a few added bonuses and worked really, really well for me for the last couple months. It does come with two, but I don't wanna bend over and pick up the other one. Luco tape, oddly enough, uh, this every man or woman should have. This is what we use for blister prevention. It'll stay on your foot for five to seven days. Um, but yeah, if you hear your husband or your wife, they're complaining from their hunt this year that they had blisters, uh, Luco tape's a good idea. You can get this on Amazon. Um, the Wubby, I should have said, you obviously get that from Kafaru and the Peaks Gators, they all, yeah, they have a bunch of different things. So go to Peaks, P-E-A-X, I think, dot com, maybe. Uh, Nalgene bottle, uh, and this is the um, cap cap lid. Uh, we sell these, obviously you can get Nalgene bottles anywhere, but this one's cooler because it says Kafaru. And then the other water, water bottle I use, and I have a few of these, but this is a Boundless Voyage, um, and the cap cap actually fits on top of that. I like the titanium ones other than the price, they are kind of expensive, but um, if you ever had to boil water, you could actually use this. Uh, but Boundless and then there's Vargo and a few other types. Uh, but the cap cap lid does fit on the Boundless. Uh, this is from Last Chance Archery. This isn't anything I ever uh, pack in, uh, but this is a repair kit, Allen wrench kit, and then there's another little dealy here that uh, has Torx head and things like that. So that's kind of a good gift if you have an archer. And it also, it's an Allen wrench, so it works for anything with Allen heads. Uh, the Kafaru wallet, uh, this is the black multicam that automatically makes you feel tougher. Uh, if you're broke, you may want to stuff some shit in there to make you look like a high roller, but uh, that's pretty cool too. These are our Arcteryx kneecaps. I know a lot of uh, ladies and men that like to put kneecaps in their pants. I don't like that shit myself. They shift, so the kneecaps are something I've used for over a decade. Um, they flex really well, they don't move, so they are kind of handy. It is a harder plastic on the outside, so it will make noise if you're trying to be snooper, sneaky, quiet. A couple different binocular options. Uh, these are like the cream of the crop here. This is an NL Pure from Swarovski, uh, and this is the new uh, SIG Zulu 10. Um, there is a little bit of difference, obviously, probably 10%, maybe 7% in light gathering. Obviously, these are significantly more money. I think these are $3,300, and I think these are $1,100. Uh, these are the 10 by 42s These are a significant upgrade from the Zulu 9s. The Zulu 9s were quite a bit bigger and heavier, but high end, when you really love your husband or wife, a little bit lower end if you don't love them quite so much. They didn't do the dishes. They didn't clean up dog shit. They get, you know, these. Uh, this is a Princeton Tech Viz. So the Viz or the Remix are the two headlamps I like. Um, I, I actually generally, the Viz I keep around the house and in my car and uh, the Remix I keep in my backpack. Um, you can get these all over the place. Amazon is generally where I pick some of my stuff up if I can't find it from a, an outdoor store, somebody that obviously supports hunting. MSR Aqua Tabs, I carry these everywhere. This is what I use to purify my water. Uh, the thing that's nice, like with our bino harness, you can keep those tabs in the bino harness. One pill does one liter, so it's super simple to not screw up. Uh, this is the 28 watt big blue charger. Um, I've had really good luck with this. I guess this is an anchor, is that correct? I believe. Well, just type in big blue on Amazon, but I got this from Amazon and we've, Steven used it as well as I did. It'll actually charge this BioLite, which is 22,000 MZH or whatever, in six hours or so. Um, so there's a video we have on YouTube going over my charging system, but the big blue, and I think it's like 89 bucks. It's exactly 89 dollars. 
Leading on from that, this is a BioLite and an Anchor battery pack. I've had good luck with both of these. They're both about the same weight. Um, this one's supposed to be more waterproof, waterproof than the Anchor. I don't know if that's true because I haven't ever fried either one. Anchor does offer uh, enough that I, I have no idea how many, but from 10,000 to like 36,000 or something, MZH or whatever it is as far as the, the size of it. So BioLite and Anchor. This thing's super cool. Any backpack type person would want one of these. This is actually a fuel exchanger. So you put one that's like a half empty and one full so you can transfer over so you don't have halfies. So what I do is just buy the giant canister and then when I have all the little halfies so I'm not going in with a half empty one and a full one, I'll transfer that over. Um, this one's a lot better than the first one I have. There's an out and an in so you actually know which way it goes and then if you Google this or search, you'll find out you want to take the empty one and freeze it and the full one and heat it. I would confirm that and then it transfers a little bit easier, but I think these are like 50 bucks and definitely worth their weight in gold. Um, another kind of small thing that's super handy, I got these on Amazon. So this is just a charging cord, but on the ass end here, you have the USB-C. Um, and then you can also attach or plug into that the standard USB so you can kind of plug into anywhere. And then on this end, you've got the three standard, which is the USB-C or three or whatever, the iPhone, and then the standard USB mini or whatever it's called. But either way, you get the idea. There's multiple types of these on Amazon and you can get some that have like two of the iPhone um, chargers and then some that don't have the double end, but they're not very expensive and they're really handy to have. This is a work sharp sharpener. I actually pack this in my pack pretty much everywhere. I keep one in my truck. Inexpensive, sharpen all my knives with this. Um, actually can't say enough about this company. I have multiple different types of sharpeners from them and they've all been great. Uh, this is the MSR reactor. This is a stove I pretty much suggest to everyone. This is the one liter, so kind of a one man or one woman type of a stove, uh, but I really prefer this for everything as far as backpacking. If you're not wanting this because it's a little heavier, you could go with an Evernew cook pot that's titanium and then the MSR pocket rocket or something like that saves some money. Um, again, you can get these just about anywhere. The Evernew cook sets you can get for Evernew, from Evernew, but they also sell them on uh, Amazon as well and they have multiple different options. Uh, for any archers in your family, this is the Kafaru Deluxe black multicam quiver guaranteed to raise your score solid eight to ten points so this year luke is actually going to wear two because it should 16 to 20 just by math so he'll have one on each each side uh and then i don't have to give him a 40 point handicap but this is super cool a lot of people would like that this is our kind of vehicle med kit that we offer uh, here at Kafaru. So again, throw it in your med kit or throw it in your truck, keep it at your house. You can have it like hunting camp. And then we also have the backcountry version. Uh, and these are made by Uncharted. This is again, more for just throwing in your backpack. Uh, this is just a full zip quiver fleece hoodie uh, from Born Primitive. The only reason I grabbed this at the end is pretty much everybody I know is wearing these. This is one of our best selling items. It's super comfortable. It's just a grid fleece top, but kind of an easy thing to grab if you're looking for something as far as a gift goes. Uh, this is the Deemer box. Um, I met the owner of Deemer box on a hunt recently. He's a great dude. This is a great product. It's 100% made in America. There's other systems like this that are good as well, but one of the coolest things of this, again, is it's made in America. It's actually a Pelican case. So you can store things inside of it. You can hook six of these up to your phone. So like if you're going out by the campfire, you have it in your garage or whatever else, you can play iTunes or Spotify or whatever um, and then listen. And again, you can hook six of these up at one time. On to the more expensive gifts. For those of you that were really good this year, cleaned up all the poop and did all the dishes. Uh, the Swarovski, this is a 95 millimeter uh, ATX. I prefer the angled. So that is going to cost a lot of money. I shouldn't say it out loud for women listening and men buying it later, uh, but it's gonna be three to four bills pretty easy, pushing five if you get to 115. Attached to this is something that I think everyone should have, and that's an all-in phone scope adapter. So this piece goes on the eyepiece, and then this is your case, and then it snaps right on with a magnet, so it's always centered perfect every time. You do have to specify what phone you have and what spotting scope if you pick this up. And then 
Uh, as everybody knows, I've used these for well over a decade. This is an outdoorsman tripod and pan head. This is the tall or the larger version. I carry a smaller version when I backpack. Um, and then this is the Gen 1 pan head. They have a Gen 2 pan head that allows you to use the outdoorsman uh, little mounting block or an Arca Swiss plate. Um, and they also have a new carbon version tripod, lighter weight, a bit more expensive, but definitely outdoorsman is something you can count on. Um, in fact, Gritty Bowman ran over mine with two tires in one sitting, and I'm still using it today. So, And then last but not least, to hold all of this shit uh, is a Kenosha duffel. I actually use this duffel for everything from traveling on an airplane, going to the gym. I have one in the back of my truck with just general crap in the back of it. So that Kenosha duffel, we offer a couple different duffels, but the Terry All and the Kenosha, but this one's definitely one I use more. So if you have any questions on this, any of this, you want to email. Uh, for any of these like gift ideas she can get you the right info to go shopping for them she knows where to get it so hopefully this helps